Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking text explosion effect in After Effects and it's super simple, we don't need any plugins and just two effects basically and yeah I'd say let's go. So let's just create a new composition, add a background real quick and then let's, let's add our text. I'll just use example and just scale it up to whatever size you like and go to the align tab on the right and make sure to align it to the center and let's scale it up even a bit more and align it again and now the first and most important effect is the pixel poly effect so just apply this on the text layer and as we can see we already get a kind of cool animation but let's play around with the settings a bit so it will fit our yeah our style more so first of all let's turn down the gravity to zero so the particles will go yeah in every direction and don't fall down just like this and yeah, you can turn up the force a bit if you want it to explode faster like this and let's also yeah change the object type to polygon because this looks cleaner and we can also yeah change the grid spacing so if we turn this down we will get more particles like this and if we turn it up we will get less particles so this is up to you, but I like to put in uh, 10, just like this. And yeah, if you want to this animation to stop somewhere, because it will yeah go way too long probably for most projects, you can just um, keyframe the opacity. So yeah, like two seconds after the explosion, maybe put in a keyframe at 100, then go forward a bit and put it to zero so it will just disappear and maybe let's bring these even more forward so the animation will be a bit shorter like this and yeah this is the the part of the yeah animation but as you can see we also added these really nice um yeah how do you call it like streaks after the particles so let's do this real quick and first of all I also added a, a glow effect in the example but we have to adjust a few settings because yeah this looks stupid so turn, just turn up the, the radius to like maybe not 100 but like 50 and the glow intensity turn this down a lot because this is way too bright but yeah maybe something like this and yeah, let's increase the radius a bit more. Or well, actually, let's, let's just take a look what exactly we used here. So yeah, okay, we used a lot of glow. Just like this. And yeah, but the, the more important effect is the light burst effect. This one. But before we apply it, let's duplicate our layer with Ctrl D. And make sure you have the the, um, the not the upper layer selected, but the one uh, which is below the upper layer, and just apply the light burst effect on this one. And yeah, as we can see, it goes in the wrong direction. So if this explodes, yeah, looks cool, but that's not what we want. So let's turn the ray length to a negative value. So let's just change it from 50 to minus 100, for example. And yeah, now we already get this cool look. But we don't want this uh, yeah, to be at the beginning. We just want it to start uh, right where the particles yeah, explode. So we will have a normal text, which looks like this, and not like this. So let's keyframe the opacity on this one a bit different. So first of all, this layer also vanishes with the time. But I think it sh should not be at 100, like, before it vanishes so go to this keyframe and put it to like yeah 40 maybe so it will won't be that strong 
but that's up to you again but i think it looks cooler but now also yeah put a keyframe yeah right when the animation starts like here put another keyframe and then go to the beginning and put it to zero so we won't have yeah this effect right when it doesn't explode but as soon as it explodes you can see you barely will notice that we just yeah hit it a bit but then it will look like this and i think yeah this looks really cool so yeah that's it thanks for watching